Good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep you this morning. Thank you for turning on to me once again. Praise God. Um, I want to um, talk to you about Paul and the false apostles. Paul and the false apostles. I'm going to read out of 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm going to start here with verse 1. It says, uh, I hope you will put up with a little more of my foolishness. Please bear with me, for I am jealous for you with the jealousy of God himself. I promise you as a pure bride to one husband, Christ. But I fear that somehow your pure and undivided devotion to Christ will be corrupted, just as Eve was deceived by the cunning ways of the serpent. You happily put up with whatever anyone tells you, even if they preach a different Jesus than the one we preach, or a different kind of spirit than the one you receive, or a different kind of gospel than the one you believe. But I don't consider myself inferior in any way to these super, uh, super apostles who teach such things. I may be unskilled as a speaker, but I'm not lacking in knowledge. We have made this clear to you in every possible way. And that's also in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 17. Verse 7 says, Was I wrong when I humbled myself and honor you by preaching God's good news to you without expecting anything in return? I arrived by the church by accepting their contribution so I could serve you at no cost. And when I was with you and didn't have enough to live on, I did not become a financial burden to anyone. For the brother who came from Macedonia brought me all that I need. I have never been a burden to you, and I never will be. As surely as the truth of Christ is in me, no one in all of Greece will ever stop me from boosting about this. Why? Because I don't love you. God knows that I do. But I will continue doing what I have always done. This will undercut those who are looking for an opportunity to boost that their work is just like ours. These people are false apostles. They are deceiving workers who disquits themselves as apostles of Christ. But I am not surprised even Satan disquits himself as an angel of light. So it is no wonder that his servants also disquits themselves. It's as servants of righteousness. In the end, they will get the punishment their wicked deeds deserve. And the next verse talks about Paul's many trials. Paul's many trials. Verse 16, it says, Again, I say, don't think that I am a fool to talk like this, but even if you do listen to me as you would to a foolish person, while also boost a little, such boosting is not from the Lord, but I am acting like a fool. And since other boosts about their human achievement, I will too. After all, you think you are so wise, but you enjoy putting up with fools. You put up with it when someone, uh, it said, you put up with it when someone Enslave, you take everything you have taken advantage of you, take control of everything, and slap you in the face. I'm ashamed to say that you have been too weak to do that. It says, but whatever they dare to boost about, I'm talking like a fool again. I dare to boost again. I dare to boost about it too. Verse 22 says, <clears throat> Are they Hebrews? So am I. Or are they Israelite? So am I. Or are they deceitors of Abraham? So am I. Or are they servants of Christ? I know I sound like a man, mad man, but I have served him for 
more. I have worked harder, been put in prison, more often been weeping time without numbers, and faced death again and again. Five different times the Jewish leaders gave me thir uh, 39 lashes. It says, three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, three times I was shipwrecked, wrecked. once I spent a whole night and a day afraid, afraid of the a sea, I mean, a draft of sea, at sea, I have, it said, I have traveled on many long journeys. I have faced dangers from rivers and from robberies. I have faced dangers from my own people, the Jews, he said the Jews, as well as from the Gentile. I have faced danger in the city, in the desert, and on the sea, and I have faced dangers from men who claim to be believers, but are not. I have worked hard and long enduring many sleepless nights. You know, sleep, sleepless nights. I have been hungry and thirsty and have often gone without food. I have strived into the cold without enough clothing to keep me warm. Then, besides all this, I have the daily burden of my concern for all the churches who is weak. Without my feeling that weakness who is led astray and I do not burn with anger. And that's also the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 4. <clears throat> verse 30 says, If I must boost, I would rather boost about the things that show how weak I am. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, who is worthy of eternal praise. No, I am not lying. When I was in uh, Demarcus, the governor under kings, kept bars at the city gates to catch me. I had to be lowered in a basket through a window in the city wall to escape from him. And that's talking about Paul, you know, many trials. Paul with the many trials, you know, just look around. You may have been through some many trials and said the same thing or felt the same way or, you know, did the same thing. You know, you may know somebody else when I did the same thing. But you know God still is God. God is still in control. He's still in the mix of it all. He's still ahead. You know, you know, without <clears throat> without God left to work through it. No matter what you went through, no matter what you feel, you know, you go through something for a reason, but God will bring you out as always. So he will bring you out. You go through these things, you think you do this, you do that, you know, seem like they ain't doing this, like they ain't doing that, you know, without God nothing works anyway. If they ain't doing the will of God you know, you 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 doing your own will. You doing you doing it to yourself. Without God, nothing works anyway. Praise God. Either you got a choice. You want to do good, do bad. You want to do it the evil way. You want to do it the good way. And the good news way is God's new, His word. Praise God. Anyway, I also want to share with you on my other book here. Um, um I'm just gonna read here. About Lombardy, Lombardy, Lombardy. Um, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 40, it says, uh, Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandment, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee. And thy children, it says, and thy children, it says, with, and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong. Prolong thy days upon the earth, which which the Lord thy God give it, you know, with the Lord thy God give it thee forever. But Deuteronomy chapter eleven verse twenty one says, that your days may be multiplied in the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your father to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. <clears throat> Psalm 21 verse 4 says, He asked life to thee, and thou gave it to him, even lynch of days forever and ever. Psalm 91 um, verse 16 says, With long life will I satisfy him and chew him my salvation. 
Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 and 2 says, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandment. For lengths of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Peace. I love you want some peace in your life. You don't want all that chaos and drama and all that carrying on stuff. You want some peace in your life. Praise God. And Proverbs chapter 9 verse 11 says, For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. I know you don't want your life being all short. You want it to be multiplied with more. Whatever more what God has for you, you want more. You want everything to be multiplied, not just with you, with your kids, with your grandkids if you have any, with your family, with your friends. You want things to be multiplied. You don't want nobody to be having less and with God have uh, more for you. He wants you to have more. He don't want you to put nothing before him, but he wants you to have more. Praise God. He don't want you to uh, worship them things that he give you more than him. You know, he wants you to have more, you know, and still have a good life and joy everyday life and peaceful life you know and um not just begin leaving him out that's all not leaving him out and whatever all you do because he bless you to have it you know praise god whatever he wants you to have these things he don't want you to be all shorthand he wants you to have more and how also you can have more when you give when you give you know it's better to give than to receive your, your son your, your uh your pen your tithing and you give an offering, you know, I mean, you know, it's not just, you know, for you to have more, but you want to continue to have more even for your kids. I mean, you know, would you want your kids to have more? Would you want your kids to have these things more than what you ever had in your life? You want them to have, you know, a good life? You know, maybe you didn't have a good life, but you want your kids to have a good life so you can be a blessing for them to keep giving and doing what you need to do. You know, and uh, you know, you want it to be multiplied back on you. And for your kids, and for, you know, your family, whoever they are. Praise God. You always not only can be for you. You can just do stuff and you can be wondering, like, why I ain't got it? Why I ain't did this? But, it, you know, it can be a blessing out, you know, pointing at your kids and your grandkids. They they have anything. You can see your time. You can be like, you can be doing so much and everything. You be like, wow, what well, I'm going to get that. What's going to be my turn? But you look at your kids, you look at your kids, the grandkids, be like, they just be blessed. People give them stuff. They're doing it, they're going it, going it. You know, they can probably, the scholarship probably been paid for it. College probably been paid for it. You be like, wow. You know, I made sure I haven't had that experience. But, you know, the thing that you do, it can be, you know, passed on to them, brother. You know, you know it or not, you can be doing something for them and you might not even know it. You know, whatever you give us, somebody else can do for them. It might not always have to be for you, but it can be for somebody else. Praise God. You know, when I stop looking at the things all about me, 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 I mean, it could be going out for my kids, somebody that, you know, you know, need, really need these things. They're trying to get somewhere in life, and they really need them things more than I'm doing by me, doing my part, so I'm going to see whatever I'm doing, you know. It can be better. It could be, just, I could be doing it for somebody else, don't even know it. Praise God. Amen. I mean, sometimes you be like, I'm, I'm doing this, Lord, you know, and I ain't got nothing. I ain't did this, but I see other people doing it. Like, that's, I mean, I'm helping this person. They accomplish it more than I'm giving. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's not, always, it's not always about you. If you can be a blessing to somebody else, you could be doing somebody else. Like I say, you might not even know it. You just do your do. It's like, don't even worry about the Lord. Do your do. You will be blessed in due time. God will exalt you in due time. He have not forgot about you. He see what you're doing. But praise God. God bless you. And God keep you. I just want to um, pray for each and every last one of you. And everything. You know, I'm like, that's why I was like, you know, let God always, I mean, God is awesome. God, he just know what he's doing all the time. You can just be like, staying on court, doing good, doing right. Do you see somebody else? You don't have anything, you be like, wow, that person doesn't even be doing what I'm doing. I didn't know that person is doing because you black, you be like, doing this person, they doing crazy stuff all the time. But, you know, you be the one being obedient to the God and doing what's right. And you see somebody has been blessed with the things you probably wanted. I've been trying to get a hold, so you do it all you can and do this, you know, do that. And somebody else come up with all that, but you want it. And it'd be like... Wow, I mean, I, I mean, I used to be like, wow, that ain't right. I mean, I really, I just said that it's not right. I said maybe it's not right in my eyesight, but God always know what He's doing. He may be trying to test my faith, trying to see what I'm gonna say, probably trying to see what I'm gonna do. That's why I'm staying on course and be happy for Him. 
you know, praise God, be happy for him, be happy with him, be joyful with him, shout, dance with him, praise God, and whatever it is, you know, because sometimes your blessing will be closer than what you think, and when you get all this, you know, feeling sad, or you call, call yourself whatever, hating them, you know, talk about somebody, you can mess up your own blessing, and God could be testing you to see what you're going to do when you do them things with somebody else, knowing that he knows what you're doing every day, you just keep on doing it, and be happy for the other one, you know, keep on being happy, praise God. You know, hallelujah, don't stop doing what you're doing. You know, don't hate, don't, uh, you know, do none of them things. Don't talk about it. Be, in, a, in a good way, talk about it. Praise God, wonderful. You know, I know I'm next. That's what I have to, that's the type of, uh, of mind I'm in. You know, the, the, the speaking tongue that I speak now. I don't speak all that nigga. I'll be like, okay, if I be like, I got this, I got that, I want this, I want that. I said, well, wonderful. You know why? Is it why? I say, because I'm next. I'm going to be next. Praise God. I'm next. And my blessings on the way. Praise God. Just like every time I've been saying that, most of the time I always say that. I mean, it just it just happened. Whatever I've been waiting for, whatever, you know, and still waiting for some stuff. Praise God. And I'm going to be next. I know it could be closer to what I think. But every time I say them things, I always be next. I always get the things. I always get it. You know, even if I find it or somebody give it to me, I always receive it. Praise God and more. Praise God. So it's about being happy and, and for somebody else. You know, don't be all sad and hate one another. And then, you know, that ain't right. I've been doing this. I've been faithful. You know, this person don't even go to church. This person don't even do this. You know, God could be testing your faith to see what you're going to do. He could be testing you. You're going to pass that test when you see somebody else get it. Knowing that you wanted that, or you've been waiting for it, or you going to let that get in your way. You don't want nothing to stop your blessing. You want to stay on course, stay on track. You know, be on it. You know, at all times. You know, just just believe and just know I'm next. I'm next. You know, I'm I'm have mine. I'm next. Praise God. God bless you, my brother, my sister, out because I'm next. Hallelujah. And that's the right positive attitude you need to be speaking. Because when you speak negative things and hating on one another, like you can be messing up your own stuff. Uh, you know, you could be messing up your own stuff for somebody else. Could be your kid, grandkid. You could be really messing up something for somebody else. I mean, you don't even be knowing it. You know, because what's power on the tongue is what you say. That's why God always put people to a test. He don't matter who they are. He put them to the test and see if they're going to pass that test. When you pass that first test, then you're ready for the next and the next and the next and the next and the next. You be like, oh, I ain't, ain't nothing. I'm, I'm going to get through this real good. Happy, happy for you, brother, sister, praise God. Wonderful. I mean, you know, you know, be happy for that person. Praise God. And then you can be all like that. Oh, I'm next. I'll be next. So I'm, I'm next. In Jesus' name, I'm next. You know, then before you know it, you'll see some good results happening. Praise God. Anyone pray for each and every last one of you before I uh, get off of here and start my little day. Praise God. Heavenly Father, pray for those that's watching. God bless you and God keep you. Pray the Lord to be with you and keep you and lead you and guide you safely wherever you're about to do, wherever you going to do you may be in traffic i don't know what you're doing exercise chilling relaxing drinking coffee cheese lemonade i don't know uh just relaxing maybe get your own business maybe you're chilling maybe you're on vacation maybe you're gonna go to uh go visit someone i don't know i just pray the lord just be with you and lead you and guide you and get you back home safely in jesus name i pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in jesus name you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you in Jesus name glory be to God God love you and he wants you to do your dues don't worry about the don't and I pray the mighty name of Jesus you is healed by his strike you is healed you may not be feeling good you may know somebody that's sick and not feeling good I pray the Lord to touch where they hurt where they pain and cure that disease wherever the situation and whatever it is it could be a mind brain pain it could be a, a just a, a could be a drug pain. You could be sick in some kind of drug area, some kind of alcohol area in your life, some kind of addiction, uh, some kind of abuse. I just pray the Lord just help you and heal you and bring you out of that in Jesus' name and keep you out of that in Jesus' name. Somebody may be lost. Somebody be some. Somebody may need some help. Somebody may need to be found. I pray the Lord just restore that person, that lady, that man, that boy, that girl back home safely, whoever it is in Jesus' name. Lord, protect them in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Bring them home safe in Jesus' name. And bring them home to you in Jesus' name. And I pray they'll walk by faith and not by sight in Jesus' name. And trust in you and believe you that you is God. And you can do all things. It's nothing too big for you in Jesus' name, I pray. God bless each and every last one of you today. And I rebuke every demon, every devil right now that's trying to get in your way. You talk to that, speak to that mountain, call them things. And be not to know they were. 
in Jesus' name. When you with somebody in Christ Jesus, if you're not, I pray you get into Christ Jesus. Get into the world. Do the will of God for your life. Let him have, let him just, let him be your uh, light in Jesus' name, my friend. Get all that dark, get out of all that darkness in Jesus' name. Get into the light with the Jesus Christ. God is the light. He is the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you and God keep you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. So, just keep a smile today. I always keep a smile. Sometimes I be like, I don't know what I'm smiling for. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know this. You don't know that. But God knows. You know, being all sad, you know, and you know, having that sad face sometimes, it be like, you know, it, it, you know, trouble don't always last. You know, bad things don't always last neither. So you might well just put a smile on your face, you know, and say, hey, I thank God I'm here. You know, just be thankful that you was here. You got the strength. You got the energy and everything, you know. Cause some, be like, some people may be like, well, I don't have no money. So I ain't got nothing to read. No, I ain't got no reason. I need some money. I need this. I need that. Still be smiling. You still here. The God will make a way for you to make that money. Get that money. If you trust in him and pray and ask him to lead you and guard you and guide you in the right place at the right time. You know, guard you with that right building, that right place for that job. Ask God to open that door and leave them doors open for you in Jesus' name. And for that person that was doing an interview, they're doing a hiring that hire you right now. In Jesus' name, you got to call them things and be nice. Talk to that mountain. That's what I call a mountain. Talk to them. Speak them things. Hallelujah. Talk to God. He knows what you want. Praise God. But he wants you to open up your mouth and talk and ask him, you know, yourself. Hallelujah. When you talk to everybody else on the phone and tell them, complain and murmur to them, you know, talk to God about the situation. These people, they won't, they can't fix it. You know, only God can fix it. You know, God, you can you use somebody to uh, put a yes in their heart for you to start or get high or whatever it is, whatever situation. God will make a way out of no way if you just believe and trust in Him. When you try to trust and believe everybody else and everybody else turns you down every now and then, probably all the time, God not going to turn you down. You know, God will move. He will move on your behalf if you believe it. Just trust in him because, I mean, I just know I believe. I might be going through stuff right now, but praise God. You know, I still got a God will fix every situation when I'm going through, no matter what it is. Praise God. I, I serve a big God. Yeah, he got here, bless me one job. He'll bless me with another one here, and another one, another one, and another one. And even a better one, praise God. One of these days, I'm coming out of this thing. I'm coming out. I don't have to work for nobody one of these days. Praise God. And I'm claiming that in Jesus' name, work for myself, work for Jesus, praise God. One of these days, I don't have to get up and go to the to, the, to somebody else's job, you know. I'm going to have my own in Jesus' name, glory be to God. My own business, my own thing, hallelujah, glory be to God. And the guy going to be the mix of it all, at all times. He's going to be the first, he's going to be the head, he's going to be the leader, he's going to be always my boss, praise God. He's not going to fire me, he's not going to lay me off. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody understand what I'm saying. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. But God bless you and God keep you. Remember, God love you. And so do I. Until next time, you take care. Have a wonderful day. Don't let the devil see your joy today or no day. In Jesus' name, I hope you all have a blessed week all the time. And you tell the devil, get back, Jack, because I ain't having to talk to the hand because I ain't trying to hear no nonsense. I must keep going on, keep your head on straight. Stay forward, do your best, don't worry about the rest. Just do your do. Don't worry about the don't. Still love one another. Until next time, I'll see you later. If God say the same, take care. I love you all. See ya.